winter is well and truly on us here in Tasmania. It's uh, been a cold and frosty morning, but that means we're getting some really nice sunshine today, which is a little bit rare. We've had quite a lot of rain in the uh, recent weeks. Being winter, of course, not a lot's happening in the veggie patch. So today I thought I'd find a sunny corner of the garden and sit down and have a chat about a few things that have been on my mind which may be helpful to some of you. So what I wanted to share with you was a few tips that would be helpful for people particularly that were seeking to take on the homesteading or self-reliant, self-sufficient lifestyle. Call it what you choose. This video's intent is particularly to focus on people that perhaps haven't actually chosen a property as yet, that are still seeking, still dreaming. I will make another video that is for people that already have land and have established themselves to some degree in the homesteading lifestyle. So I'll put a link for that in the corner once that's available. It will of course be a benefit to those people that are still seeking as well once that's there. So yes, my focus is that you have a dream and are seeking to set yourself up. Now I've called these rules. It's not that I want to be some sort of lawgiver, but I'm calling a rule some of the choices that we have in life that making the right choice will have a positive outcome the wrong choice will have a negative outcome and so I'm calling that a rule and we face many of those types of choices in life and it's good to know which one's going to give you a positive outcome which one's going to give you a negative outcome my first rule is share the dream now what am I talking about you have a dream in your own mind and what I'm saying is that you need to share that with the person that you love, your husband, your wife, and ensure that you're actually on the same page, that you have the same dream, that you do share it together and have the same goals. Now, if you're single and seeking a self-reliant lifestyle, that's okay, that's fine, but bear in mind that you probably will seek a life partner at some stage and if you do you make, need to make sure that you actually share the dream with them also. Now you might have some differences uh, one person may want to grow vegetables and that's their focus another person may want to raise animals that's great they can be complementary you can have different roles in self-reliance and it's really really good it's probably better than both of you actually wanting to grow vegetables because while it's nice to work together uh, you also need to have a really wide spectrum of skills and interest uh, if you are seeking to be self-reliant. It's really important that you do have that same goal. If one person wants to live in the city and pursue a career and the other wants to live in the country and be self-reliant then you've really got to talk hard and compromise and find a location uh, find a situation that will work for both of you but it's going to be a lot better if you're both on the same page and going the same direction so that's the rule number one share the dream make sure that you have the same ideals the same goals communicate talk that's the most important thing that way you'll be happy in what you're doing my second rule is that there is no life without water I'm talking here particularly about the choice of land uh, that you need to number one look for water a permanent reliable water supply I think is the most important thing good soil is fantastic to have but if you don't have a reliable water supply that good soil won't produce for you and you can create soil and develop soil to be great for growing things if you have water even if it's inferior to begin with so 
water is going essential for animals it's essential for humans it's essential for your plants look for a, a stream preferably I always go for water that is naturally running on the surface from a spring a small creek a river's okay though it can have some negatives but having water is really really important a dam can be adequate if and only if you have a very reliable rainfall if you don't have a reliable rainfall dams are rarely adequate a bore or a well is acceptable but generally the water is not as good as water that has naturally surfaced so look for water number one the second thing that you're going to consider in choosing land is the local climate and my rule here is that the local climate is what's important there are many many places around the world where you can have a very successful homestead and a wide variety of climates as we know from tropical to cold climates can be successful but consider your local climate when looking for land the difference of a few kilometers can make a significant difference as to whether you're in a cold location where it's hard to grow or in a situation where you're warmer and things grow more easily so look hard at that research ask locals what is it really like here what's it like in winter and that way you'll make a much better choice you can of course create microclimates to enhance things and I've talked a lot about that in the past but choosing a good location in the first place is always really good and it's a big advantage now the fourth rule I've got here which I've come to really from observation of other people's experience is don't isolate yourself or your family we all have that dream of the remote island to get away from everything and establish ourselves as self-reliant but isolation really isn't good humans are social creatures and we need to have some regular contact with other people to have some conversation mentally our health is so much better when we have some social connection particularly for women I don't want to label anyone here but I think women need more social interaction than men do and children also really benefit from having that interaction so your family is going to need regular contact with other people you don't want to be in a remote situation where that is going to be time consuming expensive to travel to actually have that contact so remote or extremely remote situations are really only for those few hardy individuals that are dedicated to it uh, that really don't want to talk to other people so <laughs> consider that carefully the fifth rule that I've come to is don't spend money that you can't afford now I'm talking principally here about purchasing land but it also applies to everything else that you're going to do building your house development purchase of equipment don't put yourself into debt in an excessive way unfortunately in the Western world we pretty much always have to go into some form of debt to purchase land ideally it shouldn't be that way I personally believe that land should be a birthright but that's just not the way the world's constructed so you're going to have to pay off some debt you need to consider that you're actually able to do that without compromising the concept of homesteading the concept of the lifestyle of self-reliance if you have excessive debt and you're spending all your time working hard in a job outside the homestead or even excessively even if you're able to establish that income from your home and you find you have no massive burden it's just not going to give you that lifestyle that you've dreamt about so avoid debt if at all possible minimize debt as much as possible if you're able to achieve something where you only need to work 
part time to actually service that debt and supply your money needs and spend the rest of the time actually living a self-reliant lifestyle it's going to be so much easier and happier and you're going to feel that you've actually achieved the dream rule number six is create a plan so I'm at the point now where you have purchased land and you're looking to set yourself up if you plan that carefully you consider how you're going to lay out your vegetable garden your orchard where you're going to put your animals where you're going to place your house plan it before you start building and constructing it's really really helpful now I know in many cases you may already have a house in place but still plan around it how you're going to develop things you may have to change what other people have done uh, you may be have a blank slate I really love having a blank slate because it means you can do anything that you want to do if you don't plan look you'll still achieve something but you may find yourself undoing a lot of things over the years that you actually create something and then a few years later find that that doesn't really work well and look that's from my own experience that I'm saying this and considering researching understanding how things work planning look go visit other people watch YouTube videos get some ideas together now permaculture has lots of information about planning personally I'm not a big fan of permaculture but its planning aspect I think is really good and worthwhile investigating now my seventh and final rule today is that you must have a can-do attitude what am I talking about well I've come across people across the years who in relation to certain tasks that they come across go I can't do that I'm no good at that I don't think that you really can take that attitude if you're pursuing a self-reliant lifestyle because if your intention is to be self-sufficient or self-reliant you need to learn or be willing to learn how to do pretty much anything and you must be willing to say I'll have a go I can do it be willing and ready to research to go and ask people and say how do I do this can you show me go and look at what other people do go on YouTube you know watch YouTube videos and see what other people are doing learn from it and try have a go have that can-do attitude and you'll be far more successful so that's my seven rules for homesteading success as I said that's particularly focused on people that are still seeking or just developing their homestead still have the dream not so much the reality and look out for that second video for people that have a homestead already and how to make it happier thanks for watching and I wish you all the best in establishing your dream.